M0FXB Welcome ATS25 receiver with a colour screen and a touch screen. So I really like these. I think they're very inexpensive. You can get them for about £70, £80. And they cover bands from 153 kilohertz all the way up to 3,000, was it 30,000 kilohertz? So a massive range. I had a question from a user. How do you select 7,200 kilohertz and 12,005 kilohertz? So let's have a look. Now to do the volume, you just press the large knob here. Turn it down. There's lots of screens. If you go next, see the next button there and back. So you can see scan, light, setup info, FM. You can even go to retro mode. Pretty cool. Let's go to retro mode, see if we can find frequencies there. Now we're on, if you look now, we're on the ham bands, which is the 40 meter band. You can select the band button. You've got these different selections here, VHF, long wave, medium wave, and FM. That's like a broadcast radio now. Even CB bands. CB channels, you do need the correct antenna. There are memories. Okay, that's the memories that have been added. So frequency-wise, let's go back to the first menu. If we just press FM, then that's just your normal broadcast stations. Go back one, then select band. We've got all these bands we can select, we can select. and you've got FM, long wave, medium wave. Let's press that one there. So in this window, we're at, we're at megahertz. So I can't really find the frequencies that were asked for. Now we can just put in frequencies and type in the question was seven two hundred was one. Click OK. Do we need more noughts? That's the most noughts it'll do. And that takes us to the hand bands again. So that is, unless that's the frequency, 7200 kilohertz. You can change the mode, go mode, LSB, there is digital modes. These will receive FT8 and things like that, but I've not really tried that one out. Uh, you can change the step that you, you, you know, you've got the step there, say 100 kilohertz at the moment. You tap the screen to go back and then we're changing the step where you can actually tap the frequency. And it will change that, you know, that number there. You can see along the top what you're up to, what mode you're in and things like that. So let's try hand bands. These are all the hand bands. We want 40 meters. And 20 meters is popular, isn't it? Takes us there to the hand bands. Frequencies, ham. Band width, you can select that. Tap the block. Push the big button for volume. How do we go back from here? Just tap the screen, is it? So I can't really see how to select those frequencies. 1200 megahertz. We try frequency. And it's in megahertz. So we'll go 0 0.0012 it would be. 0 point naught it just doesn't let us do it if we just put in 12 that's 12 mega 12 megahertz but we want naught point so i don't think it would do it will cover that band the other band was the seven seven thousand two hundred kilohertz well, i just don't think it will do it myself so worth a try, but otherwise, you know, you've got your hand bands, choose the one you want. You've got a selection of bands, not all of the hand bands. You've got FM, let's try all of these, FM. 
Now that's broadcast. Do that again. Long wave. Now that's kilohertz. And the lowest it will go is 162. Let's see how high it will go. The 216 kilohertz. Medium wave. Oh, there's a 1200 kilohertz. Well, that's pretty good. Was that 1200 or no? Or was that 1205? Try that one out. The question I had was 12005. So, anyway, that's 1200 kilohertz. And the other one was 7200. So, can we go as high as that? Yeah, as soon as I try and do that, it goes back to the handbands. That isn't 700, that's 7. So, band. So, that wouldn't go as high as that. And so, we go to band. Nope. This actually has Wi-Fi in it, this set. Anyway, uh, next. And... So I think that's about it. We'll go to the menu, see if you can select other things. Now, on the back there is a switch if you want to select the more broadcast for the antenna. There's a switch on the back, I'll show you that. So USB charge, then you've got power on off. Headphones out, which sounds really good. Nice solid BNC connector, it's a solid device this. And then look, FM shortwave for your antenna. Turning it back round. There are new, I've updated mine with the, is it Arduino firmware, which was, which actually really helped because before that I had this whiny sound and after the doing that, it, uh, it, you know, it got rid of it basically. And somehow it enabled the Wi-Fi that's in this, which I could use to do the update. Um, Cause there had to be a, like a, once you, you have to pay, it's not free an activation signal sent to this device and I did it via the Wi-Fi. So if anyone else knows how to do it, the question was 7,200 kilohertz and 12,005 kilohertz. If you know how to do it, let me know. We've gone through most of the settings. You've got attenuation, AGC, volume, mute, type the frequency. I mean, it's great fun. And you can just listen to Radio 1 if you want. CB, you can scan up and down. See? And it has some sort of bandwidth, uh, sort of band scope as well. See if I can find that. Scan. It could be here. Let's get the antenna back on there because I did take it off because it was just to get it quiet when I was making the video. Let's flick it back on. It's only a BNC. There you are. She looks nice, doesn't it? You're on the handband. Now I could try and update this actually because I haven't done it for a while and it should just update easily. I'm just going to go all the way to the end. Still going up. <laughs> Things would be here all day, wouldn't we? Step ten. There, yeah, it's gone to the beginning again now. Let's go to ham bands. Back ham forty. That's the antenna we've got. Is the long wire? Let's turn it up. It definitely works. I like it it's quite loud. Okay. 
Yeah, it's busy on there with co content. That's about it. It's a completely usable item. Someone let me know. And let's see what firmware. Let's see if I can show you the firmware we're on, then we'll end it. I'll go remember how to get to the firmware page now. Let's try this go back and forward here. So go to the page where you see the word setup. There's a few selections you can make there. Look, FM band start at 64 megahertz. Go to next. Frequency digital backlight. Highlight the frequency in in SSB. Twenty four hour time. Radio S meter. Audio spectrum. It's not going to let me turn that on, is it? I'll try. Nope, not by the looks of it. Battery value in volts. No, it's not letting me turn that on. Display light off in screensaver. Auto scale. Live chat. Screen accuracy. Scanning SSD in AM. View only from current band. Quite a few. Where's my firmware? be away wireless on Bluetooth I think you need to add a module for that reset the factory release license key that's the one where I had to pay I didn't make any changes I can't see the firmware but it is the Adreno update firmware Let's turn it off and on, see if it says it on the screen. There you are, there's a lot of figures there. 4.16 air, was it? I'll look that up actually, see if I can update. 4.16 air. Thanks for watching my channel. Just realised there's an info button, look, and that's got all the info there, look. You can actually scroll it. A lot of information there, isn't there? Isn't that interesting? CPU, 240 megahertz. What's all that? At the bottom there, it does say AM 7200, 7600 kilohertz on AM. How do we achieve that? Can't see 1200. That's all the developers there. So I can get a better zoom in on that. It's fascinating, isn't it? Frequency 7107.60 kilohertz. Band 40 meters. Modulation. Is that telling us what we're on right now? Definitely 4.16 air.
So yeah, get one. Have fun. It's a toy. Very pleased with mine. Bought it. Initially I wasn't pleased because of the whining sound, but as soon as I added that firmware, you know, that 4.16 Air, which I'll show, I'll see if I can find it now. There it is there. I'll put the link in the description. It's a download page and you get a license key and then the instructions. I'll put the video in of me loading the firmware. Well, these are some screenshots here. There's the band scope. Oh well, yeah, the live radio information, you do get that. I wonder what the latest version is, see if I can find that. So I'll definitely put the link in. These are some of the mods, you know, the physical mods you can do. And I believe that once, once you've downloaded the firmware at 4.16, which is what I have, then you buy the activation key, but you only buy it once, I believe. So there's your, what's this, biodecoder board, self-installing soldering skills required. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, so it looks like the decoder board decodes FTA, FT4, things like that. And that's what the pictures are. It doesn't look hard to solder. You obviously have to be careful. This That's going to be quite small. Some more picks there. 1,500 rubles for the part, which is about 12 pounds, but then you've got to think about postage, so you're probably looking at 30 pounds. It does say if you ship it, they'll install it for free, but you pay the shipping there and back. This is the buying page. If I click buy with delivery, you have to create an account with, you can just click Google or create an account. And notice it also says Morse code and digital modes. Okay, well, I'll put a link in. It doesn't look like it's an expensive device to buy at the moment. Bye for now. 7-3, all the best.